Hi, I'm Skylar Carter, and I am Florida Panhandle Technical College. The reason why I chose to come to the Florida Panhandle Technical College is because it's right here in my hometown. And they also have a high 90% of students passing the NCLEX exam, which is very important. I remember when I got my acceptance letter. It was on Christmas Day. Super excited. I thought that it was just going to be, I knew it was going to be difficult, but I didn't know how difficult it was going to be. Then we went to the first day of class and we have our first test the next day. And then after that, it's test every single day with a final every other week, if not every week. So you have to put in the work to stay in the program. We started off the program with 24 hopeful students. Unfortunately, now we have 17. What it is is they're very strict with your 30 hours. You have 30 hours that you can miss for the entire year. That may seem like a lot, but if you miss a class day, that's six hours right there. And a clinical day is eight hours. So you miss a couple of those, come in 10, 15 minutes late, it dwindles fast. I graduated from high school in 2006. I started back in February of this year, and it was kind of a shock. In high school, I, could, I was an A student, A, B student, and could just glimpse over whatever was we were testing on the next day and be good. Nursing school, no. You have to read the chapter in its entirety. You have to study. You will have lots of late nights, but it's not partying. It's staying up and staying up with your nursing fundamentals book. I've actually fell asleep on my nursing fundamentals book. The staff, Miss Morris, Miss Lawler, Miss Spalding, and Miss Peel, they are they are wonderful, but they are tough. Uh, when you are interviewed for the program, they explain to you what is expected. Because you have to understand you are not only representing the school and them, but you're practicing under their license. So there's no times to be goofing around or not taking it serious because you're actually, in the clinical setting, you're, you, people's lives are in your hands. The best part to me about being in the program is that I love the clinicals. I love doing the clinicals. And when, at the end of the day, your client looks up at you and says thank you or smiles at you or you've helped them in some way relax and feel better, it makes all of the late nights, all of the stress worth it. The most challenging in the same sense is the clinical setting. It's my favorite part and most challenging because you're actually applying what you know. You can read and know everything about it, but when it comes time to apply it, you will get nervous. And that's when our great instructors come in and they're right there with us with any questions. They're prepping us before we go and do procedures and any questions we have, we go to them. Five years from now, I hopefully I will have my RN, because I plan to go after my LPN, get my RN, and be working with my career in the medical field, either doing traveling nursing, or pediatrics, or trauma. I had always wanted to be in the medical field. Didn't know exactly what I wanted to be. Thought about EMT paramedic, but then decided nursing might be more of my calling. So I went to student services, found out how much it cost, what tests I needed to take in order to do it, and I applied my, for my FAFSA, which I got approved for, thankfully, or I would not be here right now talking about this. Then you have to get your CPR certification. You have to pass the TABE test. There, then you have to pass the medical math test. And it is very cutthroat. You have to make sure all your immunizations are up to date. You have to make sure there was this, I think, a page and a half checklist that you had to have complete before you could even make it to really the interview process or the med math. Then you do your interview. Then you take three days of medical math. You have to pass that with an 85 or higher. Then after that, you wait for what seems like an eternity for that letter to come in. I remember Christmas Day, mom goes, the mail ran yesterday, so I went out there, checked it. 
and I like held it and was like, okay, I'm gonna open it. No, I'm not. Yes, no. And then I opened it and I just remember screaming and jumping up and down. But then the journey is just really beginning then because then you have a deadline that you have to get all this other stuff done before you can even be in the class. In the beginning with the 24 nursing students, you find that at first you're all like, oh, this is a competition, I'm gonna be the best, the best, but then you realize you can't get through this, you can't talk about this with your friends outside of class because they don't understand. You can't talk about this with like your parents or any of your other group that you had. So you have no choice but to develop that support because that's the only way you're gonna make it through sometimes and get through those tough questions. The reason why I would encourage people to come to this school versus the other schools is this isn't just a vocational college. There's so many different programs that it opens up. The networking, you can do drafting, uh, pharmacology, hemodialysis, CNA, welding. All of that is right here in Washington County and it's in a great central location. I mean we're probably 10 miles from Jackson County, Holmes County. It's just right here. It's very central and the staff is wonderful. If you have a problem financially, you can go to financial aid and they're going to point you in the right direction. If you need help in class, the instructors have an open door policy and then the job placements. There has been very high success rates with actually finding a job after graduation. It's very fast paced. If you fall behind, it is very hard to catch up. If you miss a day, you're not only having to catch up on yesterday's lesson, you're missing the lecture on today's lesson, and then there's a test right after that lecture. So you kind of just have to have the mindset that no social life, nothing. I mean, if you have a boyfriend, you might as well break up because you're never going to see him. There's just a sense of pride even saying that you are a nursing student because it is so hard to actually get in the program. You have to study just to get in, just to even get an interview. And there's just that sense of pride and accomplishment for making it this far. I feel like I've been in it five years now, but I've only been in it since February. But it's just the pride that comes with it. I'm Skylar Carter, and I am Florida Panhandle Technical College.